friends, thanks for coming back to watch another video this week. Even though I'm having so much fun making these videos for you guys, I just... I wish I could be back at school. Maybe if we all think real hard, I'll just think really hard. If I snap my fingers, maybe I can go there. Hey look! It worked! I don't know how, but it worked. You guys must have believed really hard. And you know what else? I have a friend here with me today. <laughs> it's Miss Haley! That's so exciting. We're gonna make a whole nother video for you today. We might even make one for tomorrow, just so that Miss Abby can get them all ready and get them to you on time. Sound good? All right, well then we should get started. And what do we do first? Calendar. I'm so excited because I have a calendar helper today. She's not a student. But we're still friends, and she's still helping, so I guess that makes her a calendar helper. Are you ready, Miss Haley? Yeah! Okay! Miss Haley, what was yesterday's number? Uh, 25. <gasps> it is 25! I'm so glad Miss Haley knows her numbers. So what comes after 25, Miss Haley? 26. <gasps> wow, Miss Haley knows so much, you guys. So Miss Haley, what's today's day? How do we find it? Go up from the red number to the red word? We do! Miss Haley knows all the things. So what is today? Today is Thursday. How do you know it's Thursday, Miss Haley? What does it start with? It starts with a T and an H. And T-H together says... Miss Haley, what's our month? It starts with an M, so I'm thinking March. Oh, I think she's right. Is she right? <laughs> Yay, she is! Good job, Miss Haley. <laughs> so then all together, we say, today is Thursday, March 26th, 2020. Woohoo! And now that we've done calendar, we can move on to Weather Watcher. Are you all ready to sing your song? Your mommy and daddy might actually know the motions by now. Weather watcher, weather watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather's like, tell us what the weather's like. Won't you please, won't you please? All right, so now you have to go check the weather. I could check the weather here, but this is technically yesterday, so that doesn't really help. So since I have a friend here with me today, Miss Haley, I figured we would sing a song that requires more than just one person. You want to sing the Hokey Pokey? Are you ready, Miss Haley? Yes. Okay, let's go. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the Hokey Pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left hand in, you put your left hand out, you put your left hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your head in, you put your head out, you put your head in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Ready for the silly one? Here we go. You put your bottom in, you put your bottom out, you put your bottom in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, get ready to do our whole self. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about! Woo! <laughs> While I was putting the video together, I realized there are quite a few times I did not tell you what was coming up next. It was very confusing. 
So now I'm going to talk to you about spring. So since we've been talking about spring and I'm at school, I figured I would pull out my globe and show you why spring is happening and what's happening in outer space that makes it springtime. This is our globe from our classroom and I put a star on it to show you guys where we live. My friend Miss Haley is going to pretend to be the sun and I'm just going to talk to you for a minute about springtime. So way back when, Miss Abby does not know, big smart scientists decided to label our earth into something called hemispheres. We live in the northern hemisphere, which is on the top. And lots of other people live in the southern hemisphere, which is on the bottom. And what happens in springtime is that the earth, see our star where we live? The earth tilts as it goes around the sun so that where we live is closer to the sun and the sun's rays can get to us easier. That's why it warms up in the springtime. I've wanted to talk to you about that for two whole days, but I didn't have a glow. I'm so glad that we magicked me all the way back to school today. One of the really nice things about being here at school is that I have all of the books that I can choose from to read, and I found a really fun one that I thought we might like to read together. It's called Silly Sally. I like to read books about silly things. Okay, make sure you're cozy with a blanket. I'm gonna read our book now. Silly Sally went to town, walking backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a pig, a silly pig. They danced a jig. Silly Sally went to town, dancing backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leapfrog. Silly Sally went to town, leaping backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. Silly Sally went to town, singing backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a sheep, a silly sheep. They fell asleep. Now, how did Sally get to town, sleeping backwards, upside down? Along came Nettie Buttercup, walking forwards, right side up. He tickled the pig who danced a jig. He tickled the dog who played leapfrog. He tickled the loon who sang a tune. He tickled the sheep who fell asleep. He tickled Sally who woke right up. And she tickled Nettie Buttercup. And that's how Sally got to town. Walking backwards, upside down. What a silly book! It has silly right in the name! Can you think of any words that start with the same letter as your name? Mine might be Alligator Abby. Mine would be Happy Haley. <laughs> Miss Haley's so silly! I'm so glad I got to see her today. It was so much fun to be here today, guys, and I loved having my friend Miss Haley to help me. Everything really is easier with friends, isn't it? All right, well, Miss Haley and I might be able to make some more videos next week. We're not really sure yet. We'll figure it out. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Why can't I speak? Don't kick my glow! I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs>